in today's video we are going to talk about our i was going to say favorites no these are empties some of these were favorites but some of them were fails some of these i would never let touch my skin my body my hair ever again but some of these i just uh, indulged in honey the first product i'm going to talk about was in my march favorites and this is the hello curly curl stimulus curl ha ha. the curl stimulator this is the same formula as the uncle funky's daughter curly magic curl stimulator huh more power to the people that this is one here for the culture okay it's a all natural type of gel i love it so much it is one of my favorite glycerin free products and i would definitely pick it up from target again i'll leave like all of these empties if i can find links i will leave them down below and yes they are affiliate links so i do get a little some some you know for y'all um you know for me mentioning in these because it takes a long time to accumulate this trash and my husband don't come for me because I'm accumulate accumulating trash despite the fact that I am trying to get clutter out of my life but anyway this is a floss I don't know how we do it floss or toss although I toss to y'all it's a floss that means I'm gonna keep it and I would repurchase it okay let's go through some more hair care products diva curl no poo decadence I got a little bit still in here y'all my husband has been using this I need him to like slow down on that this is my favorite like cleansing conditioner it is my favorite okay I have another favorite that I have talked about I need to come with my staples that's what Melissa you gonna need to do but this is so good and yes I would definitely repurchase this again this is the Aunt Jackie's purify me moisturizing co-wash cleanser this was okay I like the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. That one has apple cider vinegar. This one does too, but that one is better. Would I repurchase this? Nah. No. Another hair care product, y'all. This is an OG now. This isn't this is holy grail status. This is the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treat One Minute Hair Mask with Avocado Extract. It smells so good. And this is one of those flash masks that it's like you can wash your you put it in your hair, you can wash your body, all that kind of stuff, and bada bing, bada boom, it's done. You don't have to like go and get under the hood to dry all that kind of stuff or whatever. And we are glam mom. We ain't got time for that. So I would repurchase that another repurchase i got a lot of holy grails in this empties um this is the camille rose coconut water leave-in detangling hair treatment one of my favorite lightweight ooh, one of my favorite lightweight uh leave-in conditioners if you don't like coconut oil coconut water then you can do the kinky curly not today those are very similar to this but this is definitely a repurchase the Zeke conditioner is the bomb. So yes, I love this line, Camille. That's my fairy. That's my fa fairy curl glam mom. I'm just saying. This is the passion fruit curl control paste. It is no sulfate, silicones, parabens, mineral oil, petroleum, petroleum oils. Yes. Would I repurchase this? Maybe. If I got it in a box, I'll be happy. If I didn't y'all this is not the edge control of my dreams okay so i probably would not repurchase that this is the Riagio. don't despair repair this is the strength and moisture leave-in mask this is so good like this is like one of those like unique one of a kind it's a leave-in but also a hair mask that's lightweight my what is that maui moisture deep conditioner that's a hair mask that's glycerin free that was the bomb this one does contain glycerin but it's way down the line of in the ingredients list so it doesn't harm my hair as bad but this is something that you definitely want to take if you are going on vacation and you're doing a lot of swimming this is the type of product that you want to put in your hair after you wash your hair get all the chlorine out this is a leave-in mask that you can leave on your hair and I think where you have whether whether you have a texture that is straight to kinky this is gonna work for you I love it I'm buying some more Riojia you got me hooked I didn't know you was gonna do that but you did this is the dial Greek yogurt moisturizing body wash I really like this I got it on sale and I would repurchase that again love it this is the this is from Bath and Body Works this is the magic in the air this was a gift mm, I used it up it's all right but when I repurchase it no I've graduated from Bath and Body Works like most of their things there's a few things that I would repurchase but that y'all I've graduated 
and this is the up and up soothe and soften shea moisture what shea moisture shea shea butter oatmeal body wash i really like this for my sons i still purchase that i have a backup the Nivea, y'all, they even took this off. This is the body lotion with almond oil. I love it so much. Would repurchase it. I have a backup. Oh, the new lotion so far that I'm using. This is the, I didn't even know um, Garnier, the Ultimate Blends had this. But this is really, really good. I like it. This is DW Home Wood Fire Apple. Loved it. This, like, lasted me almost all winter, y'all. So good. It's gone. And it... It's hand poured. It lasted for like it burns for 90 hours. I had longer than that. It's amazing. The Garnier Skin Act of Micellar Water went through one of these, and I currently have another one open, but it's the Lancome. And I talked about it in my favorite. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out. But I would repurchase this. But right now I'm going through some other micellar waters. Um, Mary Kay Satin Hands Peach Hand Cream. Would I repurchase it? This smells really good. Yes, I would. Um, I really like that. Travel size of my Drunk Elephant. This is the Vitamin C Firma. This is the Glycolic Night Serum and my Marula Oil. These are all gone. I have the Linen and Lavender from Bath & Body Works. I bought another one of these. This smells so good. It's very fresh but soft scent. It helps you go sleep at night. This is the L'Occitane. This is the Immortal Divine Face Oil. This is so good. I do have some other face oils that I am loving, um, but I did run out of a full bottle of this. The Colossal Big Shot Volume Mascara. This is from the Makeup Shayla collab. This is in the purple. Gone. I wouldn't repurchase that. I'm kind of like, no. I can't do colored mascara. It's okay. It's just to me, it's just a trend. Okay. This is the Complexion Fix by Veil Cosmetics. This is so bomb. I have another one. And I actually have two more that's unopened. Y'all, this is worth the money in gold. This is like liquid gold on your face. It's a very good, like, finger, using your finger and done. Okay, this is the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. I like this for a time, but then it started to smell chemically on me and I got a skirt. Okay, so I wouldn't repurchase that one, but the Infallible, the one, the new one that just came out. Um, let's see, this one right here. The infallible full wear they didn't even have to go come out with that that the other one but this one is really really good it reminds me of the born this way but a little bit more coverage and a little bit more drier it's like if born this way and shape tape had a baby it would have been that okay the lip tar um i'm decluttering this because it's so old i'm just you know um house of lashes I lash adhesive I went through one of these really like it would repurchase it lash domination by bare minerals I did not like that mascara it like bothers me that it feels like no product is on there oh this is the other one I had so I have two more this is the complexion fix this is in deep 5n I use this one to color correct and the other one I use to highlight this is totally gone this is a tarte eyeliner with like a smudger on the end and um, it kind of dried out on me, but that was all that was left on that. And so it is done. This is the Douce Volumizing Punk Mascara. Love this mascara. And so it's gone. Okay. I have a lot of empties this month. Oh, this is such a look good lip gloss that nobody talks about. The formulation of the Laura Mercier. This is in Baby Neck. No, this is in Bare Naked. So good. It's like a creamy, milky. It reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs and also the Persona. Persona actually is a lot cheaper, but that's a really good lip gloss that nobody talks about. The Giorgio Armani Incentrico Mascara is really good, but not worth the money, okay? That's a high-end product that's not worth the money. And um, this Makeup Frame Ever Aquamatic, this is such a good eye crayon. I definitely want to get another one. This one is really good for like... Like if you wanted to do eyeliner and smudge it out, like one of my pictures, I had a cut eye that I smudged out and just used a pencil and went in with some black eyeshadow. You can get that with that really, really quickly. So my empties, you guys, for March, I had so much, yay. And um, at the end of the year, I am gonna do a makeup recap of how much I used, how much I decluttered. So I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. I am really excited about getting through some stuff yes using up some items and i hope you guys enjoy these type of 
videos use up what you have and if you don't like it get rid of it and bring something else but don't hold on to makeup that's going to expire pass it on to somebody else and y'all floss it okay floss a toss floss a toss this year okay thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye guys